We all like going to Disney parks, riding attractions, shopping in the stores, and just enjoying our time there. But with vacations to these resorts becoming increasingly more expensive, other ways to interact with these IPs and stories need to be created. This began with Disney Plus some years ago, Disney's very own streaming service filled with classic Disney movies, but also countless other stories ranging from Avatar to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Not to mention the many exclusive releases such as the very successful The Mandalorian that has made the adorable Grogu a household character. While this was the first step into the bigger world, Disney announced just a couple of weeks ago a brand new world that will allow fans to further connect to the beloved Walt Disney Company owned stories and characters. So today, come along as we explore the partnership between the Walt Disney Company and Epic Games and where it will lead us in the future. Oh boy! Before we begin, if you enjoy my content and this video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as I upload weekly videos on Disney and theme parks from the past to the future. If you want to go the extra mile, consider becoming a channel member. You can find me over at Twitter, Instagram, Blue Sky, and in our Discord community where I'm most active. Links are in the description. With that said, let's dig in. On February 7th, the Walt Disney Company showcased the first 2024 quarter results in the quarterly earnings call. Here, many unexpected announcements were, well, announced. These covered a lot of sectors of the Walt Disney Company, including studios with Moana 2, streaming with an updated look into the subscriber numbers and new strategies, and a huge 3 billion US dollar share repurchase program for fiscal 2024. While parks and resorts were once again overlooked, even being Disney's most important segment in terms of profit, one announcement captured the most attention of them all, and that includes Epic Games, and one of the most successful games of all time, Fortnite. So let's see exactly what was announced. The Walt Disney Company and Epic Games will collaborate on an all-new games and entertainment universe that will further expand the reach of beloved Disney stories and experiences. Disney will also invest 1.5 billion US dollars to acquire an equity stake in Epic Games alongside the multi-year project. In addition to being a world-class games experience and interoperating with Fortnite, the new persistent universe will offer a multitude of opportunities for consumers to play, watch, shop and engage with content. Characters and stories from Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, Avatar, and more. Players, gamers, and fans will be able to create their own stories and experiences, express their fandom in a distinctly Disney way, and share content with each other in ways that they love. This will all be powered by Unreal Engine. So, Disney and Epic are now co developing a new world of experiences for fans and gamers to play watch, shop and engage with a lot of stories and franchises at a spectacular cost of 1.5 billion US dollars, or to put things in perspective, three Pandora the World of Avatar lands or one and a half Star Wars Galaxy's Edges. While the how is still to be revealed, it seems they are creating a place where you can come together digitally with friends and explore different games, watch a Disney Plus show, buy not only digital products but also physical ones through something like the Disney Store and overall just have a good time. The only artistic concept art released was this one that shows what this new world of experiences could look like in the future. In a way, it's very reminiscent of the internet in Wreck-It Ralph 2, with big signs showcasing the different offerings such as Disney+, Plus, ESPN, and franchises and well-known locations with Cars, Star Wars, Avatar, Marvel, Neverland, Pandora, and many, many others. Another thing that intrigues me here is the mention of Disney Cruise Line. This makes me wonder, could we also see and explore different real-life experiences such as Disney Cruises and theme park resort stays to better showcase and attract new guests to these? 
One thing is certain, and that's Disney wants this place to be connected to everything they own, from park experiences to ESPN and their sports broadcasting. If all goes well, this will be Disney's first real metaverse sort of experience. Tim Sweeney, CEO and founder of Epic Games, said Disney was one of the first companies to believe in the potential of bringing their worlds together with ours in Fortnite, and they use Unreal Engine across their portfolio. Now, we're collaborating on something entirely new to build a persistent, open and interoperable system that will bring together the Disney and Fortnite communities. Josh Tamaro, chairman of Disney Experiences, says this will enable us to bring together our incredible collection of stories and experiences from across the company for a broad audience in ways we have only dreamed of before. Epic Games' industry-leading technology and Fortnite's open ecosystem will help us reach customers where they are so they can engage with Disney in the ways that are most relevant to them. A new Disney digital world will be accessible via Fortnite. A similar product has been launched some months ago with LEGO Fortnite, a very expansive adventure game inside Fortnite where gamers can play with friends and interact with the world around them. This was also developed through a partnership with Sony and LEGO announced back in 2022 when each company invested 1 billion US dollars in Epic Games. It seems that this has paid off and LEGO was a success or Disney would most likely not be keen on investing that much money. Now, there are two sides regarding the deal. Disney and Epic Games aren't strangers. Back before Epic Games was known worldwide, before Fortnite, the company participated in Disney's accelerator program that seeks to impact the future of entertainment and technology. Today, Epic Games' Unreal Engine has been used to produce a lot of content for Disney, with games such as Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Kingdom Hearts 3, TV and movie making with the volume used in a lot of Disney Plus shows like The Mandalorian and Percy Jackson, and even theme park attractions such as Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which in itself is pretty much a game where the whole cockpit is the controller. Disney and Fortnite have also collaborated a lot when it comes to Fortnite integrations with character licensing and games like Marvel Nexus War with Galactus, which had more than 15 million concurrent players. So, with this deal, Disney will now own a chunk of Epic Games, which taking in account everything they've done together makes complete sense as new games, attractions and experiences are constantly being developed. One other development that shows Disney's trust on Epic Games and Unreal Engine also caught the attention of the internet, and that was Epic Mickey Rebrushed. This will be a remake of the very underrated fan-favorite Epic Mickey game for the Wii that will now be available in many platforms. The game will be powered by Unreal Engine. It's interesting to see Disney and Bob Iger coming back to the world of gaming, possibly due to very well-received games such as Hogwarts Legacy. At the end of the day, this will be a great way to connect to younger audiences, which is one of the biggest reasons for the epic deal. Bob Iger says that the investment is probably our biggest foray into the game space ever, which I think is not only timely, but an important step when you look at the demographic trends and where Gen Alpha and Gen Z and even Millennials are spending their time and media. Disney doesn't have as much contact with younger audiences as they used to have, be that via the Disney Channel or games such as Disney Infinity, and this will aim to fix that gap between the two groups. In terms of timelines, neither Disney nor Epic Games has announced when this new world of experiences will launch, but Bob Iger did say that, while he can't give a specific date, it's not going to be immediate that it takes a while to build this. Then he said something that sounds somewhat contradictory. It's not years, you know, maybe a couple of years, but we'll see. So yeah, it seems he really doesn't know when this is coming. But we can look at other similar developments, such as LEGO Fortnite, that took around a year and a half of development from announcement 
to launch. Are you excited to learn more about this project and eventually enter this new world yourself? Let me know down below your ideas that should be incorporated in it. Hopefully you learned something new with this video. And now, as always, thank you for watching and that's a wrap.